Uh, we have Slave for Christ Emmanuel. I, I, can I call you Emmanuel or can I call you Slave? Uh, uh, pronouns are he, him, calling him from Texas. Uh, and he is a theist who says that finds atheism inconsistent. Can you hear me? And what can I call you that would be shorter than the name you've given us? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw someone calling to the show and they were using titles. And I was like, wow, why don't I use titles? And I just come up with that. And, you know, uh, title that I can the Bible that I read, you. it says that consider yourself. Yeah, you just call me. You could just call me Emmanuel. It's fine. It's just like, okay, uh, you know, scripture says, consider yourself uh, slaves of Christ. That's why. That sounds great. Okay, so uh, I just want <laughs> to ask a couple of questions. Uh no, no, no. It's like, uh, you know, you were slaves of sin. Now you have become uh, slaves of righteousness. You could read uh, Romans six nineteen. So, um, yeah, no I have a couple of questions Please for Forrest. Oh, question for sure. Forrest. <laughs> uh, okay, can I ask uh, some questions to for Forrest? By all means. Oh, yeah, I'll just sit here. I'm good. <laughs> Drink my water. Okay, so, you know, you sound, uh, you know, very smart, kind of, yeah, yeah, uh, you sound very smart, it's kind of sad, you don't believe in God, but, um, I appreciate the compliment, so, got you fooled, uh, not my question it. is, do you consider, <laughs> okay, okay, so, uh, do you consider philosophy a science? No, philosophy is just a way of thinking about thinking about things. It's a way of us, you know, understand asking the deepest questions about the universe. But there are no right answers. It's it's just how we interpret things around us. There are, of course, like theories in philosophy. But when we use the word theory this way, the, the best way that I I you heard have heard the word theory described <clears throat> was from an, uh, an archaeologist named Matthew Johnson who said that a theory is putting facts in order. So, in philosophy we're doing the same thing as we do in science. We're looking at the facts and we're finding a way to organize them that makes sense. And the difference between science and philosophy is that there's a lot of different ways that you could say makes sense, you know? Okay, so, uh, so you're saying that rationality is not applied in science, right? That's no, that's a bait and switch. That's not at all what I just said. That's not at all what I just said. <laughs> you asked if philosophy was okay. science, not if it was applicable to science. Of course, philosophy is yeah. utilized okay. to a certain degree in science. A lot of all a lot the of the time. governing principles around science and how okay. science is engaged were gotten to through. I philosophy. literally have a book that's right a here about the philosophy of science. Nobody's going to fall for it today. <laughs> <laughs> This one's called Theory and Reality okay, I just wanna add of Science. That's what that's all about. Did you, did you think either of us were stupid enough to fall for that? Are you kidding me? Is philosophy a science? No. Oh. Carefully detailed explanation why. Oh, so that means that you think that purple is green. Get the fuck out of town. <laughs> Stop it. Do you have a better question than no, that? Come on. What else do you have? <laughs> oh, so... What 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 would you consider a contradiction? For example, you know, if I'm saying something that's like different than your argument, do you consider that a contradiction? No, a contradiction means you're saying two things that don't make sense together. Like saying that God is all just and all merciful. Those two things don't make sense in the same breath, you know? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so hold on that argument. So so contradiction for example let me give you an example let's say uh united states uh, i'm just giving like uh uh an example i'm not saying it's literally like that so let's say united states has a, had a constitution in 1920 for example and let's say that united states changed the constitution in 1950 so do you, would, would, would you say that one of those constitution is wrong or would you say the system has changed? That's called an amendment. And it's, it's just a thing that changes the system. Absolutely. We, we change the laws because laws are all made up. They're just things that we all agree on and we do. They're not a real tangible thing. So we can change them anytime we want. 
Also depends on what you mean by wrong in that context. Okay. In this in this argument, if if, if they could, both I assumed be he wrong, meant like factually what wrong. You mean by wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, I assumed mean, he meant actually them. wrong, not morally wrong. But either way, it doesn't make really sense. Uh, okay, uh, let me give you an example. For example, in eighteen uh, in the eighteen hundreds, you know, uh, for example, slavery was legal in in United States, right? So they changed the constitution and made it illegal, right? So, mm-hmm. uh, like using that example, atheists usually, uh, you know, the atheists that I meet or agnostics, uh, agnostics that I meet, they say that, you know, scripture contradicts itself. That's why we don't believe in scripture. And I would ask them, and they'll say, you know, God in the Old Testament is different from God in the New Testament. And I and I say that. It's not, a, it's not a contradiction. No, here's how it, that's not, let's, let's, I'll give you an example of a contradiction. How many, how many yeah. women were at the tomb when Jesus was resurrected? Who was there? Was it Mary? Was it three Marys? Was it one Mary? Two. It was two Marys? Okay. So which gospel did you take that uh, from? Because two. it's different in, a different in another gospel. And when they ran away, did they tell somebody? Did they tell no one? Because they couldn't have done both, right? Yeah. They couldn't have no, 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 no. one. I'm they taking the gospel. No, 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 no. They couldn't have so. done both. You, you, you like examples, right? You like examples of contradictions. So you're, you're, you're trying to frame it okay. as though the Bible doesn't have contradictions. You're saying the things that people think are contradictions are changes. And I'm saying, okay, well, that's not the reason that I don't believe in the Bible. It's like, I mean, it's, it's not, <laughs> it's not a tick for it. That's for goddamn sure. But it's not right. the reason I don't believe in it. But that is an example of a contradiction. The women couldn't have simultaneously left the tomb and told no one, and simultane- and at the same time left the tomb and told someone. <laughs> The Bible says that both are the case. It also said that there was okay, an angel look, in there. It said there wasn't an angel in there. Those both can't be the case. Those are contradictory. There's, they both can't be the case simultaneously. There's several parts in the Bible where it says, there's parts where it says somebody uh, uh, saw heaven. Uh, or obviously, you don't read commentary, but God. okay. There's other parts where it says that no one has ever He's seen God heaven or seen God. It. If you look right. in, the, in Genesis, in Genesis chapter one versus yeah. Genesis chapter two, are completely different creation stories. So, like, no, there's lots of immoral, horrible, evil, vile, like reprehensible that. crap in the Bible, but that isn't what we're talking about when we talk about contradiction. We're okay. talking about two okay. things Forrest. that are can't be true at the same time. Okay, Forrest. Forrest, let me. Okay, by the way, the okay. thing that you guys said, you probably don't read commentaries. I don't know why. Uh, the true story is a very theological mistake. <laughs> okay, okay, let me let commentary? me tell you how the the gospel accounts are different. Okay, let let me tell you to, how what are the you getting at? Like, tell, tell me what the actually point interpreted. Is. It's been a long and winding tell me road for us to not get to the point. Okay. Yeah, I just I want to know what we're actually going for here. I don't okay, care okay. The Bible can I explain? About. I have friends who are Bible okay. scholars that can talk to me about that. That's okay. not what I'm here for. So what are you trying to talk about? Okay. No, okay. For example, let's say I went to Austin and I saw two people running around. And uh-huh. let's say that, you know, you went to Austin and we were at the same time. But we describe the same event in a different way because eyewitness is always different from person to person. So uh-huh. gospel in the Gospel of Luke and Gospel of Mark, it's very different narration because they, these are different so then, writers. Wrong. And so they're the one of them. Why, actually, no, 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 no. Not, why is there an eighty percent overlap I'm sorry? between Mark and Matthew? Then, like, so Mark is the first gospel, right? Mark, Mark is is the first gospel that was written. By the way, we know by the way I'm not saying the Bible is infallible. That's not what I'm saying. No, I'm, I'm getting to your point. You said that they're eyewitness right. accounts, but they can't be eyewitness accounts. First, first, we know for a fact that they're anonymous. Yeah. And second, it doesn't make any, I am not done talking, one second. It doesn't make any sense that Matthew, as an eyewitness, would transcribe word for word what Mark wrote if he's telling his story, you can't simultaneously explain away the inconsistencies as saying the reason those inconsistencies exist is because they're different people. They're both eyewitnesses. They both have different perspectives. And then like, and how do you reconcile that with the fact that why would an eyewitness, if you witnessed Jesus yourself and were walking with Jesus and you were about to write down your account is the first thing you would do, pick up someone else's account 
and copy it fucking verbatim and just make minimal changes? No. But Mark is actually like eighty percent. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Emmanuel, we, we actually have a term for what's going on here. No, no, so actually you're, you're... Plagiarism is the explanation for what you're seeing. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, this, this scholarship by the scholarship calls way, it the synoptic problem. Wait, so you can stop assuming hey, that I don't read by the way, I agree have with friends who are scholars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but you, made, you made an assumption that I was saying the Bible is infallible. That was not even my point. No, oh, I, I, you did, I you did directly a assumption was responding to you making the talking. assumption that these were eyewitnesses and that's what the reason I, for the difference in the stories. I'm not going to let you take me off the mark because I'm listening to what you said. No, Acknowledge what you said. You said that the reason that there were differences... But, it's because if you were in no. Austin and I was in Austin and we both saw two people running around, That's we would have slightly different, we would have slightly oh different God. perspectives of that happening. That is literally what you That's said. What and you I said, said, well, if you're using that, that as an explanation That's, for why okay, there's differences I, I in the gospel, agree. you can't. That's not, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Can, we can agree. There's inconsistencies oh and contradictions. Okay, by the way. And they're not first-hand accounts. No, that's not even my point. That's not even my point. But you can agree that there's Why'd inconsistencies and they're not first-hand accounts. They're not eyewitness accounts. <laughs> At least Matthew and Mark couldn't both be simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Right? My argument is not about eyewitness. Oh, my God. You're talking about Nobody different... knows what your argument is okay. because you keep giving what examples of things is... that happen in different towns in the United States be... that don't... Be... <laughs> but, but you didn't even let me I did. I think you're gonna. Tell I think you what, you're gonna Emmanuel, why gear you, shift again. Why don't you give us a? Why don't you give us a thesis statement? Uh, Just in one sentence, tell us exactly what your point is. Don't tell us. Uh, think about this. Imagine that. What if it? Just one sentence of I believe this thing, and that's why I'm calling. That'd be so cool. Uh, okay. No. 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 I, I'm not calling for argument. I'm just calling for questions. I just. I just would like to question Forrest because he seems a kind of uh, smart guy. Uh, what That's why I called. I didn't even call for argument. Specifically, what do you have a question? You assume that I'm arguing. What is your question for Forrest? What you have I was asking, you but you just, you, you, you just. Now, now is your time. Specifically, okay. what is the okay. one question Can I, can you I have? question? Can I? God, okay. we're trying to get you to ask it, please. I just asked you. I just ask you oh my god i just asked you if someone is inconsistent and directly contradicting itself for example let me give you an example so no no, I no hear examples a lot of no specifically what are you asking they say that religious people hey, what are hey, you asking Emmanuel, for you is? No, what, no I, what examples, i'm asking just tell me what you're asking Ask him the question, is, please. Is atheism a form of religion or not? Whoa! No. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> is, is atheism a religion or not? There's no. There's the answer. The answer is no. <laughs> I did not. Atheism see that is not coming. a religion. If you turn off the TV, what channel is the TV on? It isn't. It's off. So atheism is not a religion. It's the lack of religions. Atheism is, is, is the same thing as saying the TV is on channel off. It makes no sense. So it's not a religion. No. Oh, man. Bald is we not a hair a lot color. Of towns in the off United is States. not a channel. <laughs> yeah, but does it have... Okay, but, but, okay. By the way, I'm just asking. I could ask anything. You so, can ask whatever you want, but you just have you to think and that, ask it, dude. You know, we just throw off the name of God. Okay, okay. Do you think that atheists have a lot of form of religious activities, like charity? For no. Example? Do we? Th oh, no. do we do charity? Some of the I do. I do a lot of charity. Some people do, but okay. atheism isn't a unifying group. Atheists aren't a monolith. A monolith. Atheism is simply, I don't believe in God. There are shitty atheists, okay. there are evil atheists, there are wonderful, beautiful atheists, there's everything in between. Not all atheists do charity, not all atheists do anything. Atheists just don't believe in God. Yeah. Okay. I'd agree. Okay, do, does atheists gather around and congregate and say that there's no God? Sometimes. No. 
Some of them yeah. do, but there's no some rule that says do. that. So, like, sometimes we do a show like this, but this isn't exactly proselytizing. Okay. Sometimes we do have conventions, but it's not like a church. Some atheists never leave the house and talk about it. They just keep it to themselves or yeah. their lives. It's yeah. not a religion. It's not a practice. Okay. You see, it told me where you got the idea of, like, helping the poor. Where did you got that idea? Where did you think people got that idea? I'm a human being. And I don't think I'm the okay. most important person in the world. And I can see suffering around me and I want to do something about it. So I do. It really is that simple. Okay, so where did you get that idea? You're not, you're not giving me an answer. You're just making a statement. The idea that I can understand that other people have suffering that's independent of my experiences, that's called theory of mind. And people develop it around age three. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of psychological literature about how that works. Okay, okay. Uh, that's funny. Emmanuel, take the <laughs> mic out of your really mouth and stop answer. breathing okay, directly let me ask on you. it. Emmanuel, take the mic out of your mouth and stop breathing okay, directly okay. on it. Thank you. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so I'm just going to say Whatever, Satan that whatever you did laugh. with your mic put made it worse. Put it back in your mouth. Please put it back in your mouth. That's now it sounds so like much worse. <laughs> Emmanuel, it always says you call from Texas in the future if you can, because we constantly have connection issues with you. Uh, why don't you call with the phone number instead of uh, through the web caller? Because this has never worked great. It seems like you're usually usually using like a public Wi-Fi at somebody's coffee shop or something and and that would just improve things a lot mm, that would be great because i think you're cutting out quite a bit and this has gone this has gone so many different directions and we have to read and we can't hear you now chats and we have a lot I'll, I'll of super chats a, to read in 20 minutes i don't I'll think we can even like make it that much more okay. time dude forest is gracious okay just just a little bit more. I'm going to give you like one or two more questions, Max. <laughs> Are you All still right. there? We're, I, I was going to say, I'm just going to let it go here. <laughs> this is, we're not, doing, <laughs> we're not doing 10 second delays. Hello, I'm Jimmy Snow, Pokemon master and executive producer on the line. Would you like to support a specific show on the line or the line in general? There are special tiers on our Patreon and in our channel memberships. You can do just that. By the way, you could consider leaving a super thanks down below. You could also like, subscribe, and leave a regular comment. All of these are great. Now, I'm going to get back to crushing loneliness, but while I do that, why don't you check out one of these?